dealer's profit in units of 2000 on a new automobile is a random variable X having the density function given below. Find the variance of the dealer's profit. So we know that variance of X equals E of X square minus EX whole square. So E of X square in this case would be the integral two uh, so x squared times two over 27, six minus x dx from zero to three. And this one, we can pull the two over 27 out and multiply the x squared with the six minus x. So you get six x squared minus x cubed dx. And now we can integrate. So this is six x cubed over three minus x four by four. Zero to three. And here, this is just a two. So two over 27. So two x cubed, so two times three cubed is 54 minus three to the four is 81, so 81 by four. Okay, and the lower limit is zero. So this simplifies into, so let's distribute. So we get uh, two times 54 by 27, so that'd be four minus, two times, uh, so 27, one times, 27, three times, six over four, so three over two, three, yeah. So I get 2.5. And then E of X is needed. So that would be the integral of X against the FX, so two over 27. 6 minus x from 0 to 3 equals 2 over 27 can be pulled out and you first multiply the x, 6x x minus x squared. And this is 2 over 27, 6x x squared by 2 minus x cubed by 3, 0 to 3. 3, so 2 over 27, and 3x squared, so 3 times 3 squared is 27, minus 27 over 3, which is 9. Okay, so 2 over 27 times 18, 9, 2 times 9, 3 times, so that's 4 thirds. So variance of x is equal to E of x squared was 2.5 minus E x whole squared minus 4 thirds whole squared. So let's change it all to fractions. So uh, 2.5 is 5 over 2 minus 16 over 9. So 45 minus 32 over 18 is equal to 13 by 18. Now, X is in units of 2000. And remember variance in, involves squared units because variance is E of X squared, that's in squared units. And then E X is in normal units, but when you square it all, that's in squared units. So the variance is in square units squared units. And the unit that is given to us is that X is in units of 2000. So the actual variance would be 13 over 18. To convert it into the units that are given, 
we multiply it with 2000 squared because we are in certain squared units. So if we were just looking at, for example, the expected value of X, like this, the four thirds, there, if you want to convert it into actual numbers, then you would multiply this with 2000 because the expected value is in normal units, not the squared ones. <laughs> So let's see what this simplifies to. That's 4 million to 13 over 18. Round to the nearest dollar. So the nearest dollar, I get 288. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, eights. Six, eight, rounds to a nine, because after that we have another eight, eight. Demonstrate that Shabishev's theorem holds for k is equal to 1.93. Now let's open a new file. Okay. Now, Chebyshev's theorem Chebyshev's theorem says that probability that X is within uh, okay probability, let's just erase this I'm using, let's just open a new file. So Chebyshev's theorem, Chebyshev's theorem. So it says that probability that X is between uh, so uh, within k standard deviations of the mean, so nu minus k sigma and nu plus k sigma, that's greater than equal to one minus one over k squared. That's what Chebyshev theorem says. So new in this case here, new is uh, E of X. Which was four thirds. And Sigma would be the square root of variance, so square root of um, um, so the original variance we had. Yeah in terms of x was, let's look at the previous file. It was 13 over 18. In the x units, it was 13 by 18. So let's go back 13 by 18. So this would be square root of 13 by 18. That's 0 0.8498, 0 0.8498. So, and this is 1.3333 because we are dealing four decimal places. So, and therefore the new minus K Sigma will be 1.3333 minus, and the K is 1.93 in this problem. Yeah, they tell us to verify for K equals 1.93 times 0.8498. So let's see. Uh, so I get, 
0.3069, negative 0.3069. And similarly, let's calculate new plus k sigma. That would be 1.3333 plus 1.93 times 0.8498 equals Two point nine seven three four. So we can fill in these numbers. So these are the x bounds, x between this and this. So this one is negative point three zero six nine, and this one is two point nine seven three four. And that needs to be greater than or equal to one minus one over k square. So the right side is one minus one over k square. That goes in this box. So one minus one over k squared equals one minus one over 1.93 whole squared. That's 0.715. 7315, 7315. So this is 0 0.7315. So to verify Shabisha's theorem, we have to show that this probability is greater than or equal to 0 0.7315. So we'll calculate this probability using the function. So let's calculate it now. Probability x is between negative. 0 0.3069 and 2.9734 is the integral from negative 0 0.3069 to 2.9734 of um, f of x. But the thing to note here is that between negative 0 0.3069 and zero, this function is zero because this function is non-zero only after x is zero. So actually we can break this down into negative 0 0.3069 to zero of fx plus zero to 2.9734 so in this part fx is so in this part fx is zero so this is gone and in this part fx is 2 over 27 times 6 minus 6 so that's 2 over 27 and then 6x six minus x squared by 2 x between 0 and 2.9734 so 2 over 27, 6 times 2.9734 minus 2.9734 squared by 2. So let's find it. 6 times 2.9734 minus 2.9734 squared by 2 into two divided by 27, so 0 0.9941. So, because the probability is equal to 0 0.9941. And we have to show that this probability is greater than 0 0.7315, so. Uh, let me Shabby Shab theorem is verified false. Because that's Shabby Shab theorem says that this probability would be greater than 0 0.7315, and it is because it's 0 0.9941. What's the probability that the profit exceeds 1200? So So the profit probability that profit 
is greater than 1200 means so this 1200 now they have multiplied the 20,000 remember x was in units of 20,000 so this 1200 is not x it's the x multiplied by the 20,000 and we want to change it in terms of x so that we can use the probability function that is given so that means probability x is greater than 1200 over 2000 equals probability x is greater than 0.6 that's the probability we need so greater than 0.6 means 0.6 to infinity fx which in this case would be 0.623 2 over 27 6 minus x because after 3 it's 0 so 2 over 27 6x minus x squared by 2. And now we have both the limits 0. 0.6 and 3. So let's find that. 2 over 27. So when you put the upper limit, 6 times 3 is 18, minus 9 over 2 is 4.5. And then minus the lower limit would be 6 times 0. 0.6 is 3.6, and minus 0. 0.6 squared by 2 would be 0. 0.18. Let's find this. Oh, 13.5 minus 3.42 times 2 divided by 27. 0. 0.7467. 